make sure to drop a like in the next five seconds or you will never make a green or a white again i would not risk it what is good youtube so today i'm going to be showing you guys the best defensive badges to use this is going to be for anybody guards centers i'm going to go through every single build that you could use it on if you have five defensive badges 10 dv defensive badges and then 15 20 etc etc but i'm gonna be going through everything so make sure you guys drop that like subscribe turn on post notifications to earn a shout out and i'm gonna say a random word in the middle or the end of the gameplay or like the video whatever yo so you just need to type that in the comment section so you need to watch it the whole way to find the word but today's shout out is going to the person on the screen i'm gonna put it up right now but make sure you guys drop that like subscribe turn on post notifications go follow my twitch down below it is linked go hit that noti bell and let's get straight into this banger man all right you guys so badges let's just start talking about it like just badges in general okay so badges are very important especially defensive badges defensive badges are the main topic in this video so make sure you guys drop that like subscribe but let me just get straight to the point bro the defensive badges you have five you got to make the best out of those five you have ten you got to make the best out of those ten it just, but once you become a center you can just you're flexible with those badges you can just be using them differently and i'm going to be showing you guys which badges i would use as a guard and just the amount of badges i would use i'm going to be providing you guys with video clips of me applying the badges like if i had five seven eight nine ten whatsoever you get my point but say if you do not have the right badges on say if you have just hall of fame tireless defender and use all your defensive badges on just those four badges that you could have used on something else and you have a guard you're just gonna get killed like you're gonna get killed on defense i'm telling you bro like you're not gonna be able to do nothing you're gonna complain and you're gonna complain bro because i'm telling you in this game everybody gets the skill gap there's like no skill gap bro everybody makes whites like you never see no one green and you always see the bad players making they whites but and shooting fadeaways like that but sometimes they 50 but you know me your boy got the clutch steal but let me get quit talking and let me just get straight into the badges i would use if i was a guard and which ones to use if you have this so many bad amount of badges and so forth deal all right you guys so right here i'm gonna go step by step on which defensive badges to use so right here i'm gonna take everything down but if you guys want my badges the, this is what i have right here i have 23 badges these are the ones i would use as a center bro but, and if you want to knock it down right there and maybe put this on like pick dot or pick pocket or chase down those are the best ones but let me take all this off for you guys and let me start ticking down on all the badges and okay so if i were a guard right here and i was in your position bro okay so i would go right here say if you have five badges you have five badges you want to put this on silver so that's two badges right there and then right here where is this at honestly i would go rim protector because that could really help as a guard but i am not really sure about that one but you can always go pickpocket and collapse and then say if you don't want to go pickpocket if you do not want to go pickpocket you can always go like this or the opposite you can go like this but sometimes i do not really think clamps is a good thing to use in my opinion but or you can go rim protector it's just all optional so it would be like this i'm not really sure about that one but those are the badges that are probably the best for a guard position i'm not really sure but normally no one has five defensive badges if you did bro i'm sorry but it's gonna be tough playing defense in general okay so say if you have eight defensive badges because there is some builds like that okay so you go gold intimidator bronze pickpocket and then you want to go rim protector and then you go clamps so right there that's three four five six that's six badges right there so for this 
it's up to you if you want to go pick Dodger, but I would not recommend it. But those last few badges, I would most likely put it on Rim Protector because that could really help. So right here, you have eight badges used. These are the badges I would use like for those cards, you feel me? Okay, so now we're gonna get to, if you have 10 badges, I know I'm going pretty slow, but I'm just giving you guys the best options, and I wanna make sure you guys have the best badges. So 10 badges right here. I'm pretty sure you can go Hall of Fame Intimidator. And then for this one, since you're most likely a guard still, you're gonna to wanna to go Rim Protector on gold. And right there, that is, uh, that is seven badges right there. So that is like takes up all your badges. So if you want to go timeless defender, maybe. But I would end up going pickpocket right there. So that right there is 10 badges for you guys. So that is 10 badges. Okay, so my fault. That was not 10 badges. That was 9. So right here, this is what I would do in my opinion. So let's just go to 15 to speed this up a little bit for you guys because I don't want to keep you guys for too long You get straight to the point. So 15, Hall of Fame, that's 4. And then right here, we're going to go Rim Protector. So that's 8 right there. And then maybe you want to go Chase Down. So that right there is 9. So right here you go 10, 11, 12, 13. And that could really help for you guys. And then that is really going to help you, in my opinion, because that pickpocket can come in really clutch if you want to get those clutch steals. But these are the badges I would use for that position right there, bro. Okay, so let's get deeper into it, bro. So we get 20 badges right here. Say if we get 20 badges. We're going to go Intimidator. And then box rebound chaser because if you have 20 defensive badges i'm pretty sure you're most likely to send it and you're gonna do this and you'll go rim protector and then you will go worm so right there i'm pretty sure that is a pretty good badge lineup for 20 badges yo that is really good Say if you get 23 like me, I already showed you guys at the beginning when I started doing the badges before I took them all off. But say, say if you get 30 badges. Obviously, I cannot show you that, but I know box can be useless on the Hall of Fame, but I would recommend doing it. And then that pickpocket, I would put it higher and maybe interceptor on bronze and chase down on, on bronze. You pretty much get the point. And I was just showing you guys the best badges to use. In my opinion, I would not use defensive leader, moving truck, or trapper, or off ball pass, or heart crusher. Because those, like, they're not the best. But pick dodger is pretty good, but sometimes it does not work as well. And it might be a waste of a badge. So my bad if I was not able to inform you the most. And I was kind of doing like a bad commentary, but I tried doing the best for you guys so you guys can get the best badge lineup. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this of me showing you guys. All right, so hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I try to do my best to show you guys the badges to use, but you pretty much get the point on which ones are the best ones to use. You can kind of work with them back and forth and which ones will fit your play style better and which one will just go if you play twos threes or how your teammate wants to play but hopefully you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys drop that like hit that sub button turn on post notifications and i'll catch y'all boys later